Good morning, guys. Welcome to Sunday. Today is lazy Sunday. Just joking. I don't know how to just like relax. How are you feeling? I feel like I need to sleep. I know I slept for like two days straight and then yesterday I slept in the afternoon and then still slept 12 hours but yeah it's hard it's hard to like walk and have all day yesterday he slept all day as soon as we got home he was asleep it's the middle of September and it is a scorching heat wave scorching last night at 6 p.m. I was the only one awake in our family the only one I'm so excited to do my garden next year. I have so many plans. I have so much energy for it. So much excitement for it. But look at over here. I'm actually growing lettuce still. I love lettuce. Mmm. Hopefully this is lettuce. <laughs> Just kidding. I know it is. Hopefully our, our raspberry bushes are doing okay. We planted a lot of them. The lettuce is so good actually. Now that I've actually had a cold for the first time in many, many years, I'm thinking like, how do people do this every year? Like, how do you have a cold? Like, it's bonkers. It's like, you don't have enough breath to do anything. But yeah, I have had so much sleep that I have so much desire to do stuff and be busy. I don't think our, our entire family has been sick at the exact same time ever before in the history of our lives but I'm ready to put this cold behind us and start moving forward all of us are big complainers when we're sick except for Gabby Gabby just went to bed last night she doesn't say anything we know she's sick she said yeah I'm sick and that's all she said she just puts up with it I need to learn to be like Gabby so uh, this is interesting I went to get his water bucket to take it outside and I noticed it's missing did you notice that your water bucket is has been removed let's see what's happening underneath here he buried his water bucket and I suspect he spilled it as well I wonder what that's about were you mad at your water bucket I gave you fresh water last night I was literally dying a slow death last night and I came down and did chores all myself and still gave you fresh beautiful water to drink all night yeah? You weren't pleased with your water? I don't know. He either, yep, he spilled it. I don't know why he would bury his water. Get over here. So today was going to be the day that I separated everybody. I put the boys with the girls that were going to be bred. But little Miss Cricket came into heat yesterday. So I'm gonna wait for that to finish. I'm gonna leave everybody where they are and then after she's out of being in heat, I'm going to put the girls I'm gonna breed over there and I'm gonna leave the babies over here. Having a farm is so much like trial and error. It's a lot of thinking and planning <clears throat> because every single thing that you do, every single choice that you make has a consequence. So I was thinking that I was going to put, move the buck into the girl pen but then I decided I don't want the baby goats in the boy pen with the boy pig because boy pigs can lay on little goats and can squish them. Or if he tries to mount them, because they're so tiny, they might not be able to withstand his weight. So I'm going to move the big goats, the big girl goats, over to the boy pen. And those girls are going to put that boy goat, that boy pig in his place. I'm sure of it. He's going to learn a lesson or two. Because our mature... Does are not gonna put up with any crap, let me tell you that. The last couple of days, little Blossom <clears throat> has been telling me that she's not happy being stalled with Tilly. Tilly's gotten more aggressive lately. Normal goat behavior, but I don't like <clears throat> having bullies on our farm. I like everybody to be able to be in a situation where they feel confident and comfortable. So, uh, tonight, I'm going to move Tilly into her own stall again. I believe the goats want to be together. They want to be in a group together and stalled together at night because they're, they're pack animals. They're herd animals. And clearly last night I did not give them enough grain. They're all starving this morning. Sophie does the grain at night. <clears throat> 
and she feeds a lot more than I do. And they are noticing, but they're still looking great. So tonight, a little Blossom will be on her own. I can't put Blossom with the baby, with the group of babies, because then she turns into a bully to them. So if I end up separating the two senior girls, if I end up separating the two senior girls, then everybody seems to be happy. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start separating her again. I put them together a few months ago, thinking like that they would at least be happy to be together, but it's not working out. So unfortunately, I have to go out there and fill the pools this morning, fill the piggy pools. How did I know it was gonna be you? How did I know it was gonna be you calling out here? Now you want the boy? Do you guys remember that she had some Lutalase, it's a, medicine to prevent pregnancy or dissolve a pregnancy and when we got her she was pregnant so we had to give her that and it took her a long time to come back into heat after that so she is our last one in heat hopefully i don't even know if that baby's been in heat to be honest but anyway so after some time early this week I'm gonna make the change. I want the boy, the buck, and the girls to be together for a couple of months. Just be together so that he can catch them on their very first day of their heat because that's when you get the more chances of having a girl. And the thing is, is that <clears throat> oftentimes, like I think our mistake when we bred them the first time was that they were separate and we let them, we were watching ourselves to determine when the first day of heat is. A buck can tell the first day of heat so much better than us. So if we want to get girls this year, then we have to, I'm just going to put them all together and let them figure it out. He's coming. He's coming out. You're going to make such cute babies next year with all that white overlay that the buck has. I'm imagining cute little cow babies, black and white cow babies. It's too hot, huh? They wake up in the morning and then lay down. So if anybody is wondering how the tire worked keep Posey the pig's water bucket from tipping over, I'm just about to tell you. She's like, thank you for giving me fresh water. I love it. Oh, I'll just pee in it. Yeah, that's fabulous, Posey. What an interesting concept. I had no idea that that's how this water turns green every day. That's so rude. Why would you do that? Oh my gosh. I spend so much time cleaning your pool for you. And she pees in it. She pees in her pool. What in the world? Yeah, she pees in her pool. That's that's how it turns green. Wow. I can't even imagine though, just walking up to somebody while they're working on your pool and then peeing in it. Anyway, the tire, while a good suggestion, did not work. Posey couldn't get in it. But I've discovered that wedging the bucket next to the tire and this pole really helps to make it so that it doesn't tip and that she can't pull it forward. Hopefully it means she can't pee in it either. I honest to God can't believe that. I can't believe she pees in her pool. I can't believe she uses her pool as a toilet. But yeah, she does. That's what she does. Even though my body is screaming, lay down Laura, just sit down and relax. You don't have energy for this. I took all that extra time to fill up my piggy pools because I know they need it. It's gonna be a hot day. I want them to be able to get cooled down. I want them to have fresh, clean water. And that's how much they care about my feelings. That's how much they care that I did that even though I'm sick. She just walked over and peed in that pool. I have to see, why do, why do pigs do that? That's just so gross. This boy loves his pool though, so he's definitely gonna get a nice, big, fresh pool. <clears throat> And she's back. <laughs> 
it's never a bad day when you live with animals. Sundays are the days that I always try and get my family to come together and help me clean something that needs to be cleaned. That's a big job. I have a feeling that that's not going to happen this Sunday though. Everybody is half dead. So if he's eating popsicles, nobody's going to come to my aid today. And sometimes it has to be okay. Come on, we're going to go. Oh, she doesn't come for me. Sam's been wanting to take his dog in the car, train her to go in the car with him. So we're going to do that today. She doesn't get it. She's like, what's happening? <laughs> She's like, I hate this, but Ellie will be here to make her feel comfortable. Everyone is still sick. Oh, like insane amounts of sick. Like, I can't even believe it. Like, how, how do you do this? How do people have colds every single year? Like once in 16 years is way more than enough for me. Holy moly. Ugh. Ellie is looking rough. <laughs> you need your hair done again. She needs a bath first though. Anyway, Sam and I are gonna go out. We're just gonna go for a drive. I'm checking out the farm. Nobody's by the... The girl goes through the round bale. Oh. I gotta fix that gate. Sometimes you, just got, off sometimes you just got to do a drive through, drive by and see what you need to do. Well, that did not go very well. Nobody liked it. Wait, don't drink that. I'm going to get fresh water. Kirby actually puked. Did you guys know that when you have a cold, it's way more important to be up and moving than it is to like lay around even though you really want to lay around and the reason is is because whoo, colds can settle in your lungs and when that happens you can get pneumonia so it's really important like when I used to work in nursing I remember having to get like little old ladies that you think are like so weak and so sick coughing and just so sick and they had they have to get up and get moving and in fact the truth is is that even when you have any illness oops any illness it's important to get up and get moving so lucky for us living on a farm really helps us with that look at that you know what that's from that's from having ducks because our chickens don't stay where they're supposed to stay they fly the coop and they jump the fence, we end up having to put water all over the property for them. And the ducks too. Hi, Mama. She is such a good little chicken. I gave them some strawberries yesterday and she showed her babies how to eat them. I've been putting a garlic in all the chicken waters because it's a really good antibiotic and it's ooh, really good for keeping everybody healthy. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh. Look at you, Tom. Tom Turkey, you're huge. They're at the stage right now where they're just growing like crazy. Come here. Are you not going to come? My favorite feeder of all time is this bucket that Sam made. I'm going to get him to make me more. They are the best. So the food stays nice and dry. Anyway, other ones don't let the food out very quickly. I have to fill this every single day. But the other one is the food comes out so slow and it affects how much they can eat. And I hate that. And there we go. Tomorrow I have to go get more goat grain and more chicken grain. 